Hi my YouTube family this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion first of all I would like to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel now I have about 1500 subscribers I'm so happy and I really have all of you guys to thank for it and I didn't even think about it that it's gonna be everybody will like it so much and I'm so happy that all my hard work everybody likes it so much and you enjoy it so I will keep bringing it today I'm doing this Thanksgiving slash Christmas um, table uh, centerpiece now this one I got it in a garage sale and this was a really nice piece of art so I would like to do some decoration in it and restore it uh, and when I saw it I uh, had a lot of um, ideas into my head so that's why I bought it and it's really very beautiful it just needs little loving touch to make it uh, more beautiful so first of all I have decided that I'm going to paint it red and then I will decorate all this into gold and then I will put uh, definitely I will put some sequences and leaves and things like that so as I do it um, just go along with me and see how it turns out and if you like maybe you can make one so let's get right to it what i'm going to do is i got a tray and i'm going to put some paint in this tray and i got this red paint this is a dimensional fabric paint this is red color and these are permanent so this will stay very well I have decorated another vase as well and that has been there for um, I think many many years and the paint is still there, sequence is still there. I will do a video on that one day. So what I will do is I will just go and paint the whole thing red, just the entire thing red and then let it dry for a couple of hours and then I will do one coat more paint red or maybe two coat more to see the final outcome final outcome I really like it to be completely red and then I will do all the decoration in gold color so it will be red and gold and plus it will have some green as well and many many sequences and beads and confetti things like that so let me go ahead and paint this entire vase into red and i'll do about three coats so and you can choose to do any color you wish red white green so we'll just have to take sufficient amount of this paint and paint this entire vase to the, the flowers are so beautifully done then um, even if i paint three times all these lines will be there so i can do it over the flowers the gold color So I'll just go ahead and paint this one three times with this red color and let it dry and then again do a couple of times until I get a real perfect deep red color and then I will decorate all these leaves into gold dimensional fabric paint and then I will add the sequences and I will show you the final product. So I have colored this one red. This is one coat. Now I let it dry for two hours. Then I'll put the second coat. Then I'll let it dry for again two hours. And I will put the third coat. And after I put the third coat, then I will, when that dries, then I will decorate with the gold color. And I will record the final outcome. hi so i have finished decorating this one as you see this is all complete and before doing it i have shown you it was really nothing on it completely bare 
so first I colored it red and I did the red color about six times each time it dried I put a new one after I finished coloring red then I did the decoration with the glitter dimensional fabric paint and this is gold color so I used the gold color uh, three times each time it dried I reapplied it and after that I put these tiny little sequences as flower and then I put the dot with the glitter dimensional fabric paint and I use this uh, green color sequence so here are some gold sequence and green sequence and then I put about 17 the square mirrors and these mirrors and the sequence they are all glued with the glitter dimensional fabric paint slash glue which mm, is a paint actually for decorating t-shirt but I invented another purpose which is glue as well so and this glue is really good it glued the sequences and the mirrors is holding on to the mirror really well so and then I added these few sequences on top and then I added a little red ribbon here and stitched it so as you see my Christmas table center piece really looks beautiful and this was totally created by me and was made with the glitter diamonds and fabric pen sequence and mirror uh, and this was bought in a garage sale uh, very little price and now it's so beautiful and I have the flower for it too and I'm going to uh, touch up color a little bit on those flowers as well so I just wanted to share with you how it turned out and what are the materials needed to do something like this all you need is a old vase you can buy it from somewhere then you apply five or six coats of your choice of color paint blue red yellow whatever you choose and if that vase has a flower already then you just trace along or if it doesn't then you just create a flower from your own imagination just draw this is just um, a few lines drawn as flowers and then you go over those lines about three or four times just use your brush and go over them each time the color dry you put a new coat so you about do three four five six as many coats as you wish and the more coats you do is gonna be brighter color and after that you use the same glitter dimension fabric paint you just drop little bit paint and take in your brush the sequence and just glue the reason I am not sewing how I did it because each time I sew it how I did it when I do this thing the it's not dry it doesn't look so well it doesn't look good at all so I get a hands down for not looking good but this really looks beautiful when it dries so be patient when you're working with it it won't look good so good because of the glue slash the paint but once the paint dries it looks really really pretty as you see now so um, for a few dollars it just turns out to be the most beautiful thing and now I'm going to put some flour in it and put it in the middle of the um, Christmas table dinner table or you can just leave it in the corner in the table by the door uh, thank you so much this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be coming up with many, many more videos. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.